truth gang gang it's your girl omega and i'm always bringing that truth you know how i do we are in the ladybug kitchen y'all know i love my ladybug kitchen now all right so now we are letting my water boil for my mushroom tea and while that boils i have a little pretty princess in the bedroom sleeping those are my dishes in my sink don't play me no mind so little pretty princess is in the bedroom sleeping and i have a chicken that we we roasted it like three days ago this is what's left of the carcass because it's just me and my daughter that eats off of the chickens and shit so that's what's left big old onions stuck in there so we're about to take this chicken carcass and we're going to put it into this pot here i already have cut for me by my assistant some onions some carrots and some celery and we about to throw together just a real quick pot of chicken noodle soup chicken noodle soup chicken noodle soup with a soda on the side chicken noodle soup chicken noodle soup chicken noodle soup with a soda on the side okay so that's what we about to do we don't waste food in this house we're gonna recycle food so i'm gonna boil down all of this uh chicken i'm gonna put it in my pot i'm gonna add some seasonings i'm gonna add some vinegar just to help the chicken fall off the bones probably gonna throw that onion in there just for flavor and then i'm gonna boil this down until all the meat falls off the bones and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna let y'all know how this is going all right all right y'all so i have my chicken carcass in the pot now um i know y'all probably ain't gonna want me to do this because it's just like a lot of juices a lot of seasonings a lot of oils but what i'm about to do what i'm about to do is grab me a spoon here out of my clean dish rack and i'm just gonna grab just like just a, like a little spoonful of this oil and mess and congratulated flavor. Just a spoonful for flavor. Just a little spoonful for flavor. Maybe a little bit more. Just for flavor. Just a little bit more for flavor. Because I don't have any chicken stock. So I'm about to make my chicken stock with this flavor. <laughs> Look, that's my kitty. Like, what are you doing? I'm making us some chicken, girl. You want some chicken? I got a little piece of chicken for you, girl. Let me see. Right, I gotta find a kitty a little piece of chicken. I gotta get one with no seasoning on it. There we go. It's your bitch, your baby. It's your bitch, your baby. It's your chicken. Here. And some good roasted chicken. That's some good roasted chicken. Yeah, girl. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, she fucking that chicken up. That shit was good. I just ate it for like three days. Yeah, girl. Get that good chicken that mama made for that baby. Yeah, you get that good chicken. You eat that good chicken, girl. Well, while she enjoys her chicken, we're going to take our pot. I'm going to take our pot over here to the sink. I don't like to use sink water, but we, we're going to use sink water. This is my sink handle. It's nifty. It's going to fill this up with water. It's going to turn into chicken stock, so don't worry. I'm going to fill that up with water. We're like halfway there. So let me add, hold on, let me add my vegetables to the pot while we're filling it with water. I got my onions, my carrots, my celery, and my daughter was like wanting chicken noodle soup, but I just may do chicken and rice because they're both pretty much the same thing. So now I have my onions, my carrots, my celery into my chicken broth pot. Hold on, y'all. Okay. All right, so that's pretty high. We want to fill it up like as much as we can, trying to completely cover up the caucus. So give me one second and we'll be right back. I'm going to place this back on the stove. I'm going to grab some seasonings. All right, so y'all know that I be on some uh, witchy shit, right? So this is my herb collection for my witchy shit. And I don't have any rosemary in the kitchen. So what I'm going to do is find rosemary here. I have rosemary right here and I got a little bit of thyme right here. And we're going to take it right on to the kitchen. So walk with me to the kitchen. That's my cat's water bag. That's my other cat. We leave those on the floor because they like to play with those. So we have a little bit of rosemary. We got a little bit of thyme. This is my spice cabinet. Okay, we got a little bit of parsley. A little pink Himalayan sea salt. A little pink Himalayan. Um, this is our pepper because the thing that we had pepper in exploded. So this is just our pepper. That's what we're going to be using for pepper. A little bit of adobe. 
And then I like uh, Creole, Creole seasoning. We got to get that Creole seasoning. Okay, anything else? Anything else? I do like a little bit of Old Bay, but I don't know. We have oregano. We have Old Bay. What is this here? Onion powder. We got an onion in there. We could probably put some onion powder in there as well. That's the cheap version of it. And we'll just grab a little bit of this Old Bay. Okay, so let's go on back over here to my pots. We're going to get to this, this stove. We're going to start the fire. I don't got no more chicken for you, girl. She's like, where is that chicken at? I smell it. Where is the chicken? Where are you holding the chicken at? That's what she's saying. Where are you holding the chicken at? So we're going to season this up really good. I'm going to start off. The chicken has already been seasoned because we roasted it. Girl, get down. Ain't no chicken over there, girl. There is no chicken there. Stop touching the stove. Get down. Okay, I shouldn't have given her no chicken, y'all. So we're just going to put some Creole. Nice layer of Creole seasoning in there. Some, I don't have fresh rosemary, but when I do make my homemade chicken noodle soup, I like to use fresh herbs. But unfortunately, I don't have any fresh herbs. Only fresh herbs I have is onions and peppers and garlic. Oh, speaking of garlic, I got to get us some. All right, so adobe seasoning. In there we're gonna just do a little bit of obey because it is chicken and i do like that little kick that obey seasoning adds to your dishes all right and now we're gonna do a little bit of i hate when onion powder gets hard but we're gonna do a little bit of onion powder i gotta bang it up against the counter and see if we can get some onion seasoning to go on out into my beautiful part of chicken noodle soup homemade chicken stock that's what we're making right now and then when all of this is done i'm going to come back on the camera and i'm going to um take the whole carcass out pull all the meat off of the carcass throw the carcass away and put it back into the pot we got some rosemary so i'm just going to give a little boop 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 of some rosemary because it is chicken and we want to make sure that it's nice and scrumptious. Woo, I thought that top was about to go in between there, y'all. That would have been all bad. All right. And then I have some thyme. I'm going to add to it. Look how early it is in the morning. It's 6.47 a.m. Of course, my baby is still knocked the hell out. But when she get up, oh, when she get up, she's going to have a nice meal for her. This is thyme. Okay, nice little chunk of thyme in there. And then I got to get this parsley. We could use pink Himalayan sea salt, but I really think I'm going to use Lari's. So I'm probably going to switch that out. Okay, and then we have some parsley because you need parsley for your dishes. Parsley is really good spiritually because uh, it stops people from poisoning your food or keeping... Um, any bad juju over your food. If you just sprinkle your dish with parsley or decorate your plate with parsley, it will remove any of those negative energies. This baby really think I got some chicken for her. For her. I don't got no chicken for you, girl. I don't. You're going to have to wait until this chicken noodle soup is done and I'm going to pick you some out because I love you. All right, let's get... Let's get this Lari's. We're going to go with the Lari's. Let's get this Lari's. If you are from St. Louis, you know, and you black, if you're from St. Louis and you black you know that you don't have seasonings in your house until you got this Lari's, okay? You need the Lari's in your house, okay? That was a nice little sprinkle of Lari's. Now I'm going to put all my seasonings back. i got to put the tops back on these things. All right, don't look at my sink, y'all. It's messy. It's not too messy because I make my daughter clean the kitchen every night because I don't play that shit with the dishes in my sink thing. But it's okay for her to leave like one or two dishes. But when we get to like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dishes, then we have a problem. But as long as they're rinsed out, and I just put that spoon, that knife, and that fork in there. So it was really just a plate, that knife right there, and a glass that was left in the, in the sink overnight. And that's not a problem for me. It's just like if we have a sink full of dishes, then, you know, I'm going to get to yelling and shit. All right. So let's put all these back. I didn't even put my pepper in there. I'm going to put my pepper in there, though. I, I think I need two hands to put the pepper in there because I don't have the proper shaker. Putting that old bay back up in my little cute cabinet. Okay, this is the pepper. I got to set y'all down for a second or pause it for a second so that I can get the pepper for you guys. All right, y'all. So this is what we're looking at right now as far as our chicken noodle soup go. 
or a chicken and rice soup. Now I'm going to add some minced garlic and then I'm going to stir this up. So hold on one second. Let me add that garlic on there. All right, y'all. So I got my little thing of garlic in there. And the last thing that I'm going to put in my soup, this is my little spoon. The last thing that I'm going to put in my soup is a little bit of garlic. I usually use um, just like a splash of apple cider vinegar, but I don't have any. This is going to help tenderize the meat, help it fall off of the carcass, help it fall off of the bone. So I'm just going to do like a little... Let the ancestors show me when to stop. I think that's enough right there. Um, a little vinegar in the water so that it helps the meat ease on off of the bone. And this is going to be a really good pot of chicken and rice soup or chicken and noodle soup. I guess we'll find out which one it's going to be when I get all the meat off of the bones. <laughs> but I do have egg noodles and I do have rice. So I'm thinking it'll probably be chicken and rice soup. Because we ain't wasting no food in the Israel household. Okay. So this is what we're looking like right now nice and seasoned nice and steamy and we're just going to boil all this meat until it falls off of the carcass it's going to be nice and seasoned and then i'll check back in and let y'all know how my chicken broth is doing then we'll come back again and we'll shred this meat off this bone off of this carcass and then we'll come back in and decide whether or not we're going to put some rice or some 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 noodles into this chicken noodle soup we're making our broth right now is y'all hungry because it's going down in the Israel household. Justice for Alicia Smiley 2024. I'm out of this bitch.